Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I know, <coughs> excuse me. I know I'm the only thing standing between you and lunch, but bear with me here, and I promise you won't regret it. My name is Jay Gill, and today I'm going to introduce you to something that will revolutionize the healthcare industry, which is filled with wait times and complications. When I was in grade five, I was at a bike park, and I went off a small jump, and I fell and broke my arm. Unfortunately, it never healed properly, and I was diagnosed with a chronic illness. Throughout my years, I've had to take, off, take time off school, and my parents have had to take time off work to take me to the doctor's office just to receive the same prescription over and over again. If I was able to simply reorder my prescription through my phone, I would have saved a lot of time and <clears throat> been able to take my medication on time. I'm not the only one with this problem. In a survey of 300,000 people, 25% of Canadians said that they had missed a medication renewal and therefore missed a dosage of medication. Out of this group, an uncomfortably high 45% stated that it was because they were unable to get an appointment with their doctor. We find this unacceptable and we intend to solve it. The solution is SmartPill, a web application that eliminates prescription wait times by seamlessly linking patients to doctors and pharmacies, allowing them to pre-order and accurately track their medication. So what do we offer? We offer connectivity between the patient, the doctor, and the pharmacy. We also provide better communication between medical professionals. And on top of that, we have a reminder feature that will make sure that patients are taking their medication on time. So how does it work? Say you're a patient with a reoccurring prescription. You'd place a request to your doctor to reorder your medication. Your doctor would then approve or disapprove of your medication without the need of a face-to-face -face appointment. Now how much time would that save you? Once your doctor approves of your prescription, it would be sent directly to the ph your pharmacy, which would then notify you once it's available for pickup. So how many are we able to truly reach? We're gonna be targeting people that live with chronic illness and others who have to take medication daily. In Canada alone, there are over 13 million people that live with a chronic illness. A chronic illness does not just mean people with pain, but can range from people with asthma all the way to cancer. We will also be targeting the baby boomer generation, which a survey showed by Stats Canada showed that 55% of Canadians aged 45 to 64 have to take medication every single day. That number increases to 82% for Canadians aged 65 to 79. So who is behind SmartPill? Aman Mangalji, our Chief Executive Officer. Faiz Walji, our Chief Operating Officer. Ali Bagudi, our Chief Financial Officer. And myself, Jay Vigil, the Chief Technology Officer. So who is out there right now? As you can see, these are our competitors that we feel leave a substantial gap in the market. Medio is a website where you can connect to your doctor, but you cannot really connect to your pharmacy. Sobase is a pharmacy that allows you to reorder your prescription online. However, it does not connect to your, to your doctor. MedAccess is something that the doctors can use right now to connect to the pharmacy, but it does not connect to the patient and uh, pharmacies don't accept the prescriptions sent, to do sent, from, sent from the doctor's office because they cannot confirm which office it's sent from. SmartPill solves that solution because we will provide a system in which doctors have to enter the medical identification number to prove their legitimacy. We would then check that the information is accurate and give them access to our system. So why would pharmacies want to partner with us? They will gain secure information from the doctor's office, that they know, they know which doctor is prescribing the medication and that it's not being prescribed to a different pharmacy as well. Uh, doctors would want to partner with us because they would uh, save lots of time in filling up prescriptions and <coughs> make, it would give them new, more availability and which would increase their billables. So how would we charge them? We would have a basic plan, which is only $9.99 a month, for patients to have 
three prescriptions per month. We would have a family plan for a minimum of three users and a maximum of six users, which is only $11.99. This would also include alerts and, remind, and a reminder feature so that they are reminded to take their medication on time. The premium plan would allow for as many medications you need per month, and it's $14.99. So early, in, early this year in January, we were in the ideation stage of the project. In May, we placed second at, a, at the Yale Venture Challenge, which we then took to the de development stage, which we are currently in. By February of 2019, we want to resolve all legal issues and begin testing with doctors by August. This time next year, we want to have a beta version out for uh, users in Vancouver, and in a year, in July of 2020, we want to launch across Canada. In two years, we want to launch in Vietnam. As mentioned in the previous slide, we want to expand our markets to Vietnam because they only have seven doctors for every 10,000 patients, which is four times less than Canada. They're also ranked 13 in the world for the most prescription purchases of medication. They're an increasingly aging population who would benefit greatly from SmartPill. We know that this is a big vision, and we plan to fill it, fulfill it. We are looking for connections with people with legal expertise in the pharmaceutical and medical industry. We are looking to take a step towards innovation so that people like me don't have to worry about missing medication. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. Very interesting. Do we have a question from the audience? Right here, sir. This is fantastic. Uh, I can't wait to sign up. Uh, so I have a question. I'm not sure you can answer it. It's my understanding that there is, for some medications that become uh, illnesses, you must have a consultation with your doctor. So can you, can you address that? And I'd love not to have that consultation with the patient. So the government doesn't require you to go in to see the doctor to get your prescription refilled every time. It's just the doctor that when he sees it fit that you need to go in, that's when, he, that's when you would have to go in to still get your prescription. But for many, medica uh, many illnesses, you don't need to, you're getting the same prescription every time. So you don't need to go in to change anything. I'd like a round of applause for Jay and his presentation. Thank you. We have a certificate of achievement, and uh, with the photographers here, so here we go. Great job.